My favorite thing to do is to tell someone to hold still. I like the idea of, of being able to create an image or a world, one frame, and then control that image, that world. Pose the person, whatever, change the angle, change the lens, and make it light, make it dark. I just, I just found it so much more, you know, fascinating and interesting than my real life. I thought, oh, this person could be standing there for me. Okay, great, because they won't do it in my, you know, real life. So it just started to become this kind of, this, this, um, I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, you know, deny this, this, this desire to have control. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because so many things in our lives are out of control, and so, so why not, you know, take the time when you can to get it as you want it to be. I feel like everything in my life is always moving too much, you know, and there's always too much movement. And so I think that I'm, I'm oftentimes wishing things were, um, were frozen or, 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 or of mind to adjust. I think that I, I, I'm still definitely learning how to, um, when to move and when not to move, you know what I mean? And I, I, I think that there's this, this tendency when you're first making films to, um, want movement. And I think as I continue to make work, I, I, I'm sort of less interested in that, you know? And, uh, and I, I don't know if that's gonna, if the end result will be a completely boring, uh, you know, cinematic experience. But. <laughs> but you would still try to find that stillness within cinema, within moving in? Yeah, oh, for sure, always, yeah. yeah. My favorite thing to do is to tell someone to hold still. How do you know, yeah, how do you know when the image is right? I don't know, I, I, you just know. If an image is successful, it probably never does stop. You know, I think it should, it should stay in your, in your mind. I mean, it, especially the, the creator's mind. I mean, if it's for an audience or whatever, in a gallery, maybe they forget about it. But, but you, for you, that image is still there. I look at a lot of still photography. I love Gregory Crudson. I don't know if you know his work. He's fantastic. I, I, I love Robert Frank. I mean, that's another generation of, of, of photographers there. But, um, you know, and Sally Mann. And, and there's all these, these, these really beautiful artists that are working one frame at a time. And, and you know, I think that um, I relate to that sometimes more so than, than watching a film. I get more out of, out of one image than I do, you know, maybe an entire film. So, so it's kind of like, I'll look to their work, I'll try to, to look back on their work or, or remember why it is that I, that I responded in the first place, whenever it was that I first saw it. But keep them on the shelf, you know what I mean? Like, just, just they're there, but you don't need to open up, you know, you don't need to look at them every, every five minutes. You remember what they are, and you know that you're doing your own thing too, you know? I always wish I, have a, I had a camera with me, but I don't do it, because I think I would, all I would ever do is take photographs, and that might get kind of, you know, might ruin the, the thrill of, of seeing something that could later be an image. You know, there's something really satisfying in that, but you know, you just know when it's right, you know? I would picture um, just this bank of fog that's rising and clearing, and uh, and it's kind of you know it's 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 it has uh, curtains on each end, and, and I and they're either opening or closing very slowly, and it's getting clearer, but it's getting covered by the curtains. If that makes any sense. <laughs>